Hello my dear friends, I'm Ksenia and you're watching St. Petersburg Me. So this video will be a very personal video, it will be a talking video and uh, it will be about my feelings and yes, uh, it will be about my feelings on the previous year uh, and regarding April. So I really felt bad emotionally at uh, that time and I really can tell you that I was at the verge of emotional breakdown but uh, Linkin Park music really saved me from this emotional breakdown so my dear friends let's let me I don't know like expose myself a little bit uh, I will not be telling you about everything that I felt because uh, I'm still in Russia and you know uh, it's not very safe for me to express my feelings openly on public uh, and on internet so I will tell you how Linkin Park helped me to leave that period through but before we get to the songs and their impact on me let me tell you how I got to like Linkin Park so it was back in Belarus uh, back in 2000 I think I got to like this very first song it was really unusual for me because you know I'm a type of person who likes uh, pop uh, songs who like pop industry, who likes uh, electronic music, but you know, Linkin Park was something out of the ordinary for my musical taste, you know. Uh, if you watch my channel for a long time, you know that uh, I was uh, fond of Britney Spears, um, NSYNC and Backstreet Boys, uh, but uh, when I heard the Linkin Park song, it was um, it was a video on this Viva channel for the song In The End. And you know, it was like wow for me, because you know, at that music uh, video they had a whale floating on the in the air, you know, <laughs> and it was like really, really unusual for me very interesting in it um, uh, it you know this um, music video just um, I don't know like pushed the boundaries my inner boundaries away and you know with the course of time I noticed that I was listening to Linkin Park so when I was down when my emotional state was not very good when I had a bad day or my mood was bad so I immediately uh, put on Linkin Park and uh, on my phone or on my um, player and I plugged my earbuds and uh, that was it after a few minutes of listening to Linkin Park I just felt better really better I don't know um, why and how they impacted uh, me in such a way that their music just uh, made my mood and made my day better I don't know but somehow their music works uh, like that on me so in April 2022 I was really really emotionally um, worn out um, I was I was just feeling constantly down and no wonder no wonder I I think I was on the verge of emotional breakdown but and somehow I forgot about Linkin Park you know it was not like oh it I have a bad mood um, why shouldn't I listen to Linkin Park but somehow on uh, my way to the center of the city on a bus I just thought oh I have my phone with me I have my earbuds so or ear earbuds I think you, you call it so why not listening to Linkin Park and somehow um, 
once I started listening to their lyrics, to the lyrics of their songs, it started resonating with what I felt at that moment. Really, I would never thought that their old songs from 2000s will be so much resonating with what I felt regarding the events between Russia and Ukraine. Really, I don't know how that works, because, you know, their songs were written about people, about um, feelings that people have about the relationships, like personal relationships, not the relationships with their state or their government, you know, but somehow I felt exactly this way. Somehow their songs, their ly lyrics started resonated with what I felt about the situation, the political situation at that time. I don't know how that works, really. So, my dear friends, the first song that I want to show you how Linkin Park songs impacted me and how they helped, how they resonate with what I felt. So, uh, the first example will be a very mild example, the very easy one, so that you could understand what I'm talking about. So, after 2022, like 24th of February, you know, I made a video on um, how I feel about the conflict that at that point had started between Russia and Ukraine. At that time, you know, I had a lot of plans for my channel. I had a lot of plans for Russian boxes, my project that uh, allowed foreigners to taste a Russian pastries, uh, sweets, and even dried fish and not going to Russia. I just mailed those boxes to them and um, I had to close that project. But it, it's not, it's not a, like a, a dramatic thing, you know, but I had um, uh, m more other projects for my channel and for my audience to show um, Russia to them. And um, after the 24th of February, I understood that um, that those projects will not be leaving anymore, you know, that I have to stop planning because uh, now uh, they just lost all their sense, you know, and people tried to to support me in such a way by such comments like, oh, you have to wait, uh, the, you have a lot of time, you are young, but you know, so uh, the first song of Linkin Park in the end uh, that just uh, have the lines about the time, so um, time is a valuable thing, you know, watch it fly by as the pendul pendulum swings. Watch it count down to the end of the day, the clock takes life away. It's so unreal. Really, the clock takes life away from me and from other people. And the clock, while this... Let me, let me call it conflict, because the word is uh, prohibited in Russia. You know, uh, there is a, s a special law that can get me uh, up to 15 years in prison for naming uh, this conflict what it is. So I will be calling it a conflict. Just try to understand me, okay? So <clears throat> at that time, I just understand that this will not be solved in... Uh, in few months, that this conflict is a long conflict, that this will be lasting for a long time. So, you know, and uh, the time takes while this conflict uh, is lasting, the time literally takes life away from some people in Ukraine, you know? It's just... It's just really unreal when you realize that. That is just mind-blowing. Time is a valuable thing. Life 
is a valuable thing, but somehow some people don't understand that. But of course I'm very grateful to those people who tried to support me with those comments like Xenia, it's just a matter of time, just to wait a little bit and everything will be okay. So it's a year past and we understand that nothing will be okay. <laughs> Especially for people who had international projects like me. Uh, nothing will be okay for us. The next song is One Step Closer and the chorus of this song, you know, um, resonates with what I feel regarding the uh, my relations with the state, you know. Uh, just let me explain to you what I mean. So the chorus of this song is Everything you say to me takes me one step closer to the edge and I'm about to break. I need a little room to breathe cause I'm one step closer to the edge and I'm about to break. So what um so what this means to me, of course this song is about the relationships with uh, two people who are in, uh, I don't know, like in love or in some kind of relationship, but for me it's like this. Uh, so, you know, our state, our government, our TV and people who work on TV, they talk um, a lot these days. Like, they talked a lot uh, during the whole 2022. And, you know, they talked about enemies, they talked about traitors. Like, everything they say to me really takes uh, one step closer to the age uh, of breaking down. Really, it's just, it's just insane. I just cannot hear that anymore. Uh, you know, there were a lot of um, new laws last uh, year which can t take you in prison up to 15 years for discrediting Russian army, discrediting Russian government, discrediting the Russian president. Uh, like, you cannot t tell or publicly anything basically anything that you feel. You cannot get express your feelings publicly, um, you know, in any way. You have to keep it to yourself. And really, the, it feels like there is no room to breathe here. And, you know, now I understand why there were so many alcoholics in the USSR. Really, I clearly understand why, because people couldn't express their thoughts um, like freely, express what they felt really uh, on public, on in their creative thoughts, like they cannot create a poem with what they felt about the... Uh, what what was happening uh, at that time in the USSR? They cannot, uh, they couldn't express any thoughts. They just could express uh, their thoughts within the frames that set up frames like this. Within they could only think uh, think within the box. So uh, also in this song there is a very. Um, powerful beginning, you know, I cannot take this anymore, I'm saying everything I've said before, all these words, they make no sense. You know, um, regarding the protests in Russia, I um, clearly can um, draw parallels with these lines and the protests in Russia, you know, uh, protests in Russia took uh, place like from 2012, I think, when people in Moscow were protesting uh, against um, uh, our president going uh, for elections uh, once again. And, you know, they were not satisfied with that. And they also protested afterwards and it feels like really people just keep telling one and the same thought just we don't want this we don't want this but um, people in the government who have the power they just don't uh, seem to um, to you know 
acknowledge that that there are people who don't like what is going on in Russia. And, you know, the last year the press secretary of Vladimir Putin uh, said in one of his interviews that, oh, we know that there is a certain part of Russian population that don't support uh, the special military operation. Uh, we know about them. We know about their opinion. And, you know, they represent only a teeny tiny uh, population, part of the population so we I don't know like don't count their opinion or what I don't know what was his uh, uh, the result of this conference you know he said oh we acknowledge them we know that they are only a small part of the population and I think he said that only 20% of the Russian population don't support special military operation but you know 20% of uh, population in Russia is 30 million people actually so we get that the opinion of 30 million people doesn't count hmm interesting the next song is crawling and you know, uh, for me, this song has become a very special song. So, let me explain. Uh, you know, I never understood the meaning of this song before. You know, I've never felt uh, the feelings that Chester felt when he was singing or writing this song, you know? Uh, I never had problems with my parents, I never had problems with uh, um, with everybody around me, I didn't uh, take drugs, I didn't drink alcohol in my teen age or something like that, so I didn't have the, the, the kind of problems that could help me to understand what was this song about, to understand the lyrics of this song. So it was really hard for me to listen to this song. And, um, you know, I barely listened to this song. And uh, all of a sudden, after the 24th of February 2022, I got to understand the exact meaning of the lyrics of this song. Just, just let me... Just let me read out. Crawling in my skin, these wounds, they will not heal. Fear is how I fall, confusing what is real. Really, you know, uh, in April, um, I was constantly reading the news. I was constantly watching the photos of uh, Ukraine and that was terrible, you know, I couldn't, I really couldn't believe that this is real. I hardly could believe that this could happen in the 21st for first century between two neighboring countries. It was really hard to believe that, but I had to. The next. There's something inside me that pulls beneath the surface, consuming, confusing. And you know that feeling of uh, constant terror, constant fear, constant disgust was really inside my skin, you know, pulling beneath this thir surface. This lack of self-control I fear is never-ending, controlling. I can't seem to find myself again, my walls are closing in. Without a sense of confidence, I'm convinced that there's just too much pressure to take. I really felt that way in April 2022. All those news, all those... TV news, uh, like Russian TV news, uh, saying that, oh, enemies are everywhere. That was really, really hard to take. Really, it was the constant flow of information that you just couldn't digest. Uh, one side just gives you the photos of uh, destruction, of, of death, and the other side is like, oh, enemies, that's why we are doing that. 
like, like really, it. I really just understood what was this song about because I felt exactly the same. So thank you so much, Linkin Park, for just uh, giving me the chance to, to to just release all this pain through listening to your songs and through um, reflecting and understanding just the meaning that you was, uh, I don't know, like implying to your songs. Thank you so much. Just You just helped me to release the pain. These words of this very song helped me really very much. Thank you so much. And the last song for today is Lost. And Linkin Park released this song in February 2023 and if you don't know I just will remind you that the frontman of Linkin Park died back in 2017 so it's quite a new song with the uh, voice of a person who died like six years ago uh, almost six years ago so for me this song is just like you know a pin in my heart because you know the the almost each word of this song reflects with what I feel right now is just is just unbelievable for me you know Linkin Park releases the song with Chester's voice and the words and the lyrics of the song just coincide with what I feel right now after the year of the conflict between Russia and Ukraine and you know it's just absolutely ununderstandable you know for me how how can that be just listen to the lyrics it's just for me it's just uh, I don't know how it that is possible you know just a scar somewhere down inside of me something i cannot repair even though it will always be i pretend it isn't there i'm trapped in yesterday where the pain is all i know and i'll never break away cause when i'm alone i'm lost in these memories leaving behind my own illusion lost all my dignity living inside my own confusion you know this is uh, all pretty much all i feel right now really so my dear friends this is all for today of course there are a lot of other songs there are a lot of other lines that describe uh, what i feel right now but you know uh, I cannot share them online, I cannot sh share them in public because of uh, multiple laws in Russia which can get me into prison for what I have to say regarding those lines and, you know, regarding what I feel. Uh, so, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being with me. Um, if you have anything to say, uh, just uh, leave your comment down below um, this really a very personal video I expose my feelings um, so some of my feelings of course but uh, still it's uh, really hard to do especially now so um, please don't judge me very hard you know um, so thank you so much for watching thank you so much for being with me and see you in the next video bye